Hello. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago I did a video about my week from hell with cars? Uh, it's a miracle that I'm still here. Well, all good horror films have sequels, don't they? Actually, no, that's not true. No, in fact, the best ones probably don't have sequels, but some horror films have sequels. Depends if they want to get more money out of it, more money out of the franchise. Well, that's what I'm going to do, because more stuff has happened. Yay! The actor is on low. There's a clue. Now, at the time of recording this, you will have probably seen the video of Hilda go out, uh, the one where I've tested the water pump to see if there was a fault with it. Um, and there wasn't. Oh, that's a spoiler. Well, no issues with Hilda at the moment. Well, there are. It's just there's no new issues with Hilda at the moment. Um, the issues started, actually, with the Saxo, weirdly, um, because it was running fine, and it still is running fine, but it got a puncture. It now has a slow puncture in the front wheels. Uh, no, not both of them. Just the driver's one. Um, yeah, it goes down. It needs, t it needs new tyres, basically. The tyres that are on it were bought in 2019, and we checked the date stamps. They're all matching, except one was made in 2015, one was made in 2017, and I never noticed at the time. So, uh, yeah, they're a bit perished. We'll get some new tyres for that, but it's a pain. Uh, so the Saxo had a flat tyre. Um, what else? Oh, yes. How could I forget? Yes. This thing is cursed genuinely this is cursed so you saw the video the other day and now i have a smashed windscreen and it had no drive i ordered a new drive shaft and a new lower ball joint the new drive shaft the new lower ball joint are now fitted i fitted them the other day it's gone very well the only thing that went wrong with that was i bought two liters of hydraulic ramp oil and two liters of 75w uh, which is the grade of gearbox oil this thing takes. Not 7580 or 75W90 or whatever, just 75W. Um, it's pissed in, basically. Uh, I bought some of that and I got the bottles mixed up. So I, having put two litres of hydraulic ramp oil in the gearbox, I then had to drain out two litres of hydraulic ramp oil in the gearbox. But looking how thin the gearbox oil is for one of these, the fuel efficiency gearbox oil, um, I don't expect it's probably done any harm but yeah it's got the right stuff in it now for now so the gearbox oil was in new drive shafts gone in fine a stress because of the stupid design of the car but it's in it's fine successful as is the lower ball joint so there was another mot booked uh one two two days ago from now but that makes means nothing to you um yeah another mot booked went to take it off the ramp backed it off the ramp got out to here where you are now there was a kudunk what was that drove up the yard there was another kudunk do a u-turn there's a kudunk more kudunks as i'm coming back they're quite quite like quite violent kudunks back into the workshop try to drive up on the ramp there's a big kudunk and then lots of little kudunks and then well A bearing fell out and pieces of scrap metal. Where did they come from? Are you one step ahead? This drive shaft! It's gone! Honestly! Yay! Uh, no, it really has. That drive shaft has exploded. Um, the old one on this side. It was fine until, well, it probably wasn't fine, but it was showing no uh, traits of being knackered. Obviously, the one on the passenger side did. That's been replaced. That's gone in fine. Now this one's dead. So I had to cancel another MOT. Brilliant. And yet, somehow, it has not gone on fire. I think that's, to be honest, I think that's quite impressive. That shows some real restraint. I mean, good fortune. Now, the C6 has had nothing else go wrong with it because it hasn't gone anywhere. But what I'm doing at the moment is I have a theory. It's not a hybrid. It's not plugged in. Ah, so it's charged. Right. 
So the battery has been on a full charge. It's taken over a day because it had gone flat while it was sat out here. I am wondering if the battery is causing all these silly codes and causing it to go into limp mode. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to find out. I'm going to arm it, arm myself with my little top don, top scan thing, and uh, we're going to do some tests to see if it is just the battery. If it is just the battery, I'll buy a new battery, although they are big money because they are big batteries. Let's go for a walk. Oh, look, look what it is. It is, as Danny DC2 said, a proper car. He's very correct. Um, so I don't know if you can see the rainbow puddle underneath it. I'm not going to start it to show you. I was going to start it to show you, but as I've stood next to it now, I've realised that would just be stupid. But I have a little bit of video to show you. Uh, this is it. That was taken just as I got back from the petrol station. So I've just gone to the petrol station and filled it up and then had 10 minutes of issues with my card. Well, not my card, my phone, the phone that you're on now. Uh, the payment wouldn't work, wouldn't go through. Um, they couldn't, I even said, well, I know my card details for my business card. I don't bring my business card to work with me. I don't carry my wallet. I just use my phone, but I, uh, I knew the numbers to my business card. Um, but they couldn't do that, so I was there for 10 minutes, eventually I got it to work. And then I came outside, and I saw a puddle under here. And if I'm completely honest, with the weeks I've had, I saw that puddle and went... I'm not going to look at that. And just carried on towards the car. I started the car, and a cloud of steam came out of here. Which of course, wasn't steam, it was LHM, in mist form. Um, I pulled away... It drove fine, to be honest, you wouldn't know. But I pulled up in the yard here, more steam coming out of the bonnet, this time quite a lot, and uh, pressure regulator's kicking in a lot. That's because a lot of the pressure of the fluid is exiting onto the floor, which is why I've lowered the car. So how many weeks did that manage? Two and a bit? It's my fault, I jinxed it. I said how well it's done. Um, I don't know which pipe's gone. There are one of two pipes I think it can be. And of the two uh, pipes that come out of the T-piece, one of them goes to the hydroactive regulator and the other one goes to the height corrector. So I'm guessing the hydro... I don't actually know how this works yet. I wasn't planning to get this involved this quickly, but I think what ha what basically happens is the height corrector does what it does on any hydroactive hydraulic citron. And then the hydroactive system has its own supply. Um, and it's either the feed going to the hydroactive regulator or the one coming from the hydroactive regulator to the struts. But uh, I don't know which one. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Whichever one it is, it needs fixing. Uh, I don't know why it's gone, to be honest. It's like, I thought it was an active ram at first. I worried. I thought, oh, is that the active ram that's done that? And I thought, well, no, because that would only have pressure in it when you corner in with gusto. And I have been cornering with gusto, with much gusto been having good fun around corners but it wouldn't do that on the spot There's the, that the active ram doesn't do anything when the car's sat still not a call driving in a straight line it doesn't do anything so yeah um it's well it's bollocksed basically so my options are to try and all well, these bikers that go around here make a load of noise Ooh, old man yells at cloud. Um, I can either take the pipes off of the tractiver, but of course I don't know what condition they're going to be in, or make some. I don't know what size that pipe is. It's probably, I'm going to guess it's four and a half. I have got bits of four and a half mil pipe. Um, yeah. But it means I've got to go in there digging it all out. And this pipe goes from here all round there along the subframe. So it's going to be a pig. So I need to get this on the ramp in the next couple of days. Uh, and see if I can follow it and see where it goes. My fault, of course, because I said when I did a video on this the other day, the next video was going to be me sorting out the lean that I'd inadvertently put in it. Well, it won't be. It will be that. Uh, one other thing I've forgotten before I close this little video off, uh, the imp. Nothing new wrong with the imp 
per se. It's actually Limwood. So basically uh, the imp was, well, as I've made merch uh, detailing and as any Google search will show you, the imp was built in a place called Linwood um, in Paisley uh, near Glasgow, Scotland. It is a Scottish car. We do not see many of those. The factory was eventually bulldozed um, in the uh, late 80s, possibly. Uh, I, I, imp aficionados will, um, will, uh, will, will clarify that one. But um, basically when PSA took over the Roots Group uh, from Chrysler, effectively, Chrysler took it over and then PSA took over Chrysler Europe. So they eventually, um, they did do a bit there, but they decided, well, it's just an expensive place. So they sold it. So they'd made everyone um, redundant at uh, Linwood, got rid of the factory and everything like that. But there is one building remaining and uh, it's called St. James's Business Centre or St. James's Enterprise Centre or something like that. And it's basically the, the, the kind of like the front offices that used to go the face of the factory. There used to be a hell of a lot more there, but now there isn't. There's just this one building left and it's been let out into individual subunits like offices and things like that. It looks very 60s. It, it looks, you know, it looks pretty depressing, but it's heritage only it will not be for much longer because uh, they're going to demolish it. They gave everyone two months notice at the beginning of February and they're going to bulldoze it. And I wanted to take Hilda up there. Uh, there was a video the other day, on, I've followed it now, there's a Paisley page on Facebook, Paisley, Paisley Photos, I think it was. A load of people um, turned up to pay respects, line all the imps up, they had some photos inside, that kind of thing. Uh, hello if you're in those photos. Yeah, uh, and it's, I think it's quite sad actually. I think that kind of thing, it's like, it's quite short-sighted. There's, there's, there's history in that building and that location. Um, so yeah, kind of sad. Uh, they're gonna bulldoze it. I wanted to take Hilda there. I live 500 miles away. So yeah. Hilda is not working. So there's a chance I'm not even gonna be able to go there, which was my plan. We'll see, but it's not looking good. What's that thing they say about buses? Right, I'm going to go home and consume alcohol. <laughs>